If this is an open container, it can be made from a number of materials such as ceramics, glass, non-rusting metals such as aluminum, brass, bronze or stainless steel. Even wood has been used to make faces either by using three species that naturally resist rot, such as stick, or by applying a protective coating to conventional wood or plastic. Bases are often decorated and they are often used to hold cut flowers. Bases come in different sizes to support whatever flower it is holding or keeping in place. Bases generally share a similar shape. The foot or the base may be bulbous, flat, carinate, or another shape. The body forms the main portion of the piece. Some bases have a shoulder, where the body curves inward, a neck, which gives height, and a lip, where the vase flares back out at the top. Some bases are also given handles. Hello, hello, reviewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you metal, flower, vase and flower stand design ideas for your inspiration. You can make these items in your own workshop with limited tools and materials. You can even turn them into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business by selling your products online or locally. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to our channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Your subscription means a lot to us and encourages us to create more content. Therefore, please please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Various styles and types of vases have been developed around the world in different time periods such as Chinese ceramics and Native American pottery. In the pottery of ancient Greece, vase painting is a traditional term covering the famous fine painted pottery, often with many figures in scenes from Greek mythology. Vases are often decorated and they are often used to hold the cut flowers. Vases come in different sizes to support whatever flower it is holding or keeping in place. There is a long history of the form and function of vases in nearly all developed cultures and often ceramic objects are the only artistic evidence left from vanished cultures. In the beginning stages of pottery, the coiling method of building was the most utilized technique to make pottery. The coiling method is the act of working clay into long cylindrical strips that later become smooth walls. The potters well The potter's wheel was probably invented in Mesopotamia by the 4th millennium BCE, but spread across nearly all Eurasia and much of Africa, though it remained unknown in the New World until the arrival of Europeans. The earliest discovery of the origins of the potter's wheel was in southern Iraq. The discovery of this technique was beneficial to the people of South Iraq because it served as a substitute for their previous inefficient traditions. Upon this new technique, it would then grow globally and even be adopted for the use of decorating pottery. Garden vases are usually V-shaped, but they can also be cylindrical or bowl-shaped. They are usually made of ceramic or plastic.
The ancient Egyptians are thought to be the earliest civilization to have used vases for decorative purposes. Indeed, it was in ancient Egypt that we have the first evidence of vases being used to store flowers as we do today. These vases were, however, quite basic in shape and design. It was the ancient Greeks who are best known for having produced beautiful vases that could be both decorative and functional. The Greeks had a number of different uses for their vases, but their discovery of new ways of decorating these vases meant that they acquired new symbolic meanings. Each type of vase in ancient Greece had a specific shape corresponding to a specific purpose. Greek vases, though, are most famous for their red and black decorations, which allowed for ornament and narrative. Vases were often decorated with images of scenes from everyday life. Roman vases continued many of the same traditions as Greek pottery, but as decorative objects, they were more likely to be sculpted and carved with reliefs than painted. In applying these new techniques for producing vases, the Roman Empire produced some of the most impressive and influential vases of all time. At the same time that the ancient Romans were producing fine vases crafted from clay and archway, Chinese porters were producing wares using a different technique. This technique involved firing the mineral kaolin at extremely high temperatures and it produced a material which would later become known as porcelain. Archaeological finds date the production of porcelain-like wares in China as far back as the Han Dynasty, which ruled from 206 BC to 220 AD. The development of porcelain in China changed the history of vase making forever. Porcelain is often considered the finest type of pottery, on account of its bright white color, delicacy and the strings, and unlike European earthenware, Chinese porcelain was resistant to both heat and water. In the history of vase making, the discovery of porcelain was key as it allowed for the production of beautifully decorated vases in a way that wasn't previously possible. The Chinese porcelain vases produced during the Tang Dynasty from 618 to 907 AD were designed to hold specific varieties of flowers, each of which had a different symbolic function in China. While some of the most important vases of all time were being crafted in China, European vase making after the collapse of the Roman Empire had fallen into decline. The production of decorative vases, particularly glass, glass vases, was only truly continued in certain areas such as the Italian island of Murano, then in the Republic of Venice. Murano has a rich source of pure silica sand and the glassmakers of Murano learned how to mix silica sand with soda ash to create a superior form of glass used for various and vases and other adornments. The skill of Murano glassmakers gave Venice a monopoly on vases and adornments made from glass and crystal. Suddenly, 
Vases once again became popular with the wealthy and aristocratic classes in Europe who, commission, who commissioned expensive cut glass vases from the finest Venetian craftsmen. The history of vase making have continued up to the recent years through addition of different items and improvement. Recent trends include using metal and other materials to make unique vases and flower stands. We will get into the history of vases in our future videos. So stay tuned for the future videos whereby we show you. We will continue the narration of the history of vases. For now, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting metal flower vases and flower stands. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use daily as an inspiration. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.